nature of industrialization during interwar period. We have already seen nature of Indian industrialization up to First World War. Now we are looking at how industries were developed during the interwar period. Now you have to understand one thing that uh, European agency houses, they have a dominance over Indian industry. But that dominance that has started uh, to, to be weakened by the end of the Second World War. Second World War, the dominance tha, wo kam hone lag gaya tha. that has started getting weak. And even if it was before, it was less than that. Because our industries were developing. Our industries were coming in the forefront. Ame Kumar Bhakchi says that the industrial development, which was uh, jo Euro, jo European dominance, tha, ye bohon bada karan tha jiski baje se hamari industries develop nahi kar paaye hum us space pe grow nahi kar paaye jis pe hum kar sakte the amartya kumar sen to ek step aur bhi aage ja ke ek bhi kehte hain ki jis base ke upar britishers apne industrial revolution ko base karte hain jaise ki wo kehte hain iron and steel industry ya cotton textiles industry he he is of the view ke unke develop hone mein bahut bada yogdan indian enterprises ka tha not of the british enterprises because british industrial enterprises they were mainly concerned with the exporting goods like tea coffee jute indigo uh, extracting operations trading operations all of those aur ye kehte hain ki ye ho sakta hai because humne bahut sare resources to unki industries ko develop karne mein laga diye to hamare paas kya raha तो हमारी अंडर अचीवमेंट हमारे फेलियर्स के लिए बहुत बड़ा जो रीजन था वो ब्रिटिश इंडस्ट्री डेवलपमेंट हो सकता था ब्रिटिश डोमिनेंस था ये कोई नई बात नहीं है हमारे लिए हमारे को पता भी है ये आफ्टर 1914 इंडियन इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इट टुक प्लेस सिवो सुब्रमण्यम कहते हैं कि इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज दे वर एबल टू फेस द थ्री मेजर सेटबैक्स व्हाट वर द थ्री मेजर सेटबैक्स फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर Great Depression, World War II. These were the three major setbacks which other advanced nations, they were not able to face. Wo nahi face kar paayte, lekin hum face kar gaye. Bohat se positive developments huye 1914 ke baad. Dekhe, sabse badiya jo ek development hua, wo ye hua ke jo nai industrial concerns develop kare gai, nai industries develop kare gai, kin ke dwara, marwadis ke dwara, right? So these were our own people and they developed it, not British. We were still making consumer goods, but we were at least making them. Although we were not making a lot of capital goods, but, but we were still making consumer goods. So that was a positive development. Cotton mills also expanded their output. I mean, now the textile industry has uh, had, had, had started uh, getting some developments. So cotton industry also expanded its output. Steel was also being produced in a significant quantity. So steel tha, wo bhi significant quantity mein banne lag gaya. Particularly after Tata Iron and Steel Company's works at Jamshedpur houses uh, tried their hands on uh, the different types of industries also. Right. Bohat se nai industrial products banne lag gaye jo ki hamare market ko cater kar rahe They were catering domestic market. They were not made for exports. Or dusri baat Pehle jo industries thi, they were only confined to Calcutta, they were only confined to Madras, they were only confined to uh, Bombay. But now industries during those years, during these interwar years, they have started going inland. Andar jane lagi. Matlab, they have gone inland. Andar ke rural areas tak bhi pohunchan lagi. Rural areas, matlab, they have at least started uh, uh, going towards in centers of the country instead of being only at Calcutta or Bombay. Kya hmm. reason ho sakta tha ke ye positive developments hui? Sabse important to ye reason hai ke ji World War I hui, Great Depression hua. All of that has loosened the economic grip 
which Britishers had on India. So because of that, and market doesn't uh, have any va vacuum, right? So in case if one person goes, other person comes. Uh, so Britishers, they had started, uh, they, they, were, they were getting a pinch of losing their grip or economic grip on, on Indian subcontinent and it happened. So because of that, these positive developments happen. Positive development means, I mean, our industries have started getting developed. During these years, uh, the nationalist uh, enthusiasm was going up. And uh, government also have had had to had to give some kind of protection to Indian industries, and they said that okay, fine, we'll give you something. Uh, they said this uh, okay, we'll impose a protective tariff over imported industrial goods in 1920. So that's an example which could be given. I said then there is one thing which has happened between these years. Wars have happened, uh, so the wartime speculation has happened. And whenever there is a wartime, there is speculation, there is profiteering in the hands of few, right? So those people who were able to make profits, they had accumulated capital with them, right? So that accumulated capital, those business houses who were able to profit at uh, during the times of war, wartime accumulation or profiteering, now they had this new accumulated capital and they want to invest this in new kinds of industries. For example, cotton mills, jute mills, sugar mills, paper mills. So we have our own industry which was going up, right? So the kind of the monopoly which the Britishers had on Indian industries, that was getting breached by Indian industrial concerns. That was a good thing. And the kind of the um, industrialization process which we wanted to see, we do not want, even at that time, we didn't want to depend upon imports. So it means that we have an import substitution industrialization, which Indians were favoring. So in case of import substitution industrialization, of course, our domestic forms have to come up. So the process of industrialization based on import substitution in the domestic market was underway, right? So this is a brief account of what actually happened during interwar years, right? Sure. Thank you, Peter.